Hello and welcome to another episode of Pet Pals. Um, as you can see, we have a handful on today's show. Um, I am Bethany Davidson, the Humane Educator here at Frederick County Animal Control. And trying to wrangle um, these guys with me is Tammy. Um, first up, we have a pair of puppies. Um, there are actually three in this litter, but their um, brother Zeus is being adopted. Um, so we have on the show for you today, uh, Thor, who is over there with Tammy. He has the thicker white stripe on his face. And over here with me is Lola, and she has the thinner um, white stripe going down the front of her face. Uh, they're about three to four months old. Um, they were previously owned, but now they're here with us so that we can find them new homes. Um, they are, because they are puppies, um, we are doing them um, through the puppy process, which we've talked about before on the show. That means that um, we take up to four applications for each of these guys, and then we choose the best fit for the dog. Puppies are adopted for a fee of $150. Puppies tend to um, be more of a responsibility because they rely totally on us to, to teach them what is appropriate behavior and not. Um, and a lot of people, unfortunately, don't give them the training that they need. And then they end up back here as, as older puppies um, that are a little bit more unmanageable. So we want to make sure people understand that responsibility. So that's um, part of why um, their fee is a little bit higher. But also um, puppies just require more medical care in the beginning. Um, so um, that covers our costs here while we're caring for these guys. When you're applying for one of our puppies, um, we also have an extended application so that we ask more questions about your experience with the breed of the, of the dog. Um, we ask you uh, what's your experience with raising puppies, what your plan is, um, because they, they are not house trained. They need somebody who's going to be able to be home and, and get them working on those types of things as well. These guys are um, pit bull mixes, and unfortunately, a lot of apartments and people who rent um, pit bulls are not allowed for various reasons. Um, so if you're, if you're looking at these guys and you live in an apartment, um, you want to make sure before you even come in, um, check with your landlords to make sure that you are allowed to have a, a, a puppy like um, these guys or any type of, um, see what the breed restrictions are where you're living so that you're prepared. You're not going to come in and fall in love and get disappointed because we do check with landlords um, before we adopt out any animals um, to make sure that you are within your limit of animals that you're allowed to have uh, and also that you are um, having um, only animals that are in the breeds that you're allowed to have, um, the weight size, things like that in your apartments. 